Hello. I just wanted to add something to what the science teacher from Oregon had to say about global climate change. In fact, it's worse than he laid out. And I'll tell you why. He did not talk about runaway greenhouse effect. It's called runaway because it runs away from human control. There are a variety of positive feedback mechanisms in the global system that could lead to this outcome. I'll tell you more about the outcome in a second. For example, as the earth warms and permafrost melts, the organic matter trapped in the frozen tundra decays and methane gas is released. As more of the greenhouse gas is released, more solar radiation is trapped, leading to more warming. This, in turn, leads to further melting and decay of the frozen tundra, and a positive feedback loop proceeds. This is what some NASA scientists had to say about the phenomenon. The phenomenon of runaway greenhouse effect occurs when a planet absorbs more energy from the sun than it can radiate back to space. Under these circumstances, the hotter the surface temperature gets, the faster it warms up. Scientists believe Venus did experience a global runaway greenhouse effect three to four billion years ago. So we hear a lot about sea level rise, disease, and social unrest and economic collapse of a global climate change, but very little is said about runaway greenhouse effect. Perhaps the popular media should stir some people's imagination with a description of Venus, which is where the Earth could end up if we do not take action on global climate change. Here's what the scientists from NASA had to say about that. Water and vapor are extremely rare on Venus due to its high surface temperature that can approach 900 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme temperature is caused by the greenhouse effect. As sunlight heats Venus's surface, the surface radiates infrared energy that is kept from escaping the planet by de dense carbon dioxide atmosphere. Now, we know the Earth is not Venus. The Earth is a different orbit around the Sun. The planet sizes are different. The atmosphere of Venus is far more dense. However, the severity of outcome of a potential runaway greenhouse event on Earth subordinates all other considerations relative to taking action. Even an economic depression like that of the 1930s would be a cakewalk compared to the alternative. Hey, that's what the scientist from Oregon said. What a coincidence. Well, I leave you with that thought. So, you can either take no action and keep your fingers crossed, or you got it. Keep the runaway greenhouse effect in the back of your mind as you make your decision. Thank you very much.